What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from Thinking here. Welcome you back to another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Genlock. How are you guys doing today? Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Um, we just came off of a lousy encounter, unfortunately. Um, I'm recording this legit like five seconds after. Um, so, yeah, we had an unfortunate event, but I can't be mad. Um, there's literally... There's nothing I can do about the first patch of grass being a Gen 2 Pokemon. But we will get a new encounter today. So hopefully that will, like, you know, not put salt in the wound. Because, honestly, I'm getting a little nervous. We only have two more encounters before the total. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, I'm not lying. We have, I, for a second I thought I was lying. But, hey, I wasn't lying. Yas. Um, but, yeah, we legit have two encounters before the totem. And seeing that the totem could legitimately be anything that this game wants to throw at us. I'm, a, I'm very, very nervous. And, you know, it's not the greatest thing of me to be nervous, but there's really nothing I can do about it. Like, if I look back on it, this is like, I know that there's a 6v6 coming up, or a 6v3, I should say, because I only have three months. Um, even though I would have six months at this point, I just don't because I keep getting the same gen encounters. Um, but, like I said, all I've got left is Route 2 and the Cemetery. And having only those two left, it's like, what if I somehow magically repeat twice and then have a team of three going into a totem fight? Like, my team is sound enough where I don't think I will have the worst time handling it? But there is also some glaring, like, like a, a, a bulky water type would be very bad. Um, and so, like I said, I'm hoping... This is not a bulky water type, but this is a water type. Um, we're going to go into Green Bird. We know, I know Green Bird can carry it. Um, carry the torch a little bit here. Um, I believe in Green Bird. Um, Burrine. This should do like 8 damage. 11. Naturally, you have speed boost. Okay. Well, we got Hex Sacred Fire. Oh, no. That was a crit. No. No. Oh, no. It just got... It got the boosts. And it's got speed boost. Well. Who thought a Fion was going to be the biggest problem? Definitely not me. I saw... I said a water type would be an issue. But... Let's see. Ominous Wind hopefully won't do that much to Zayden. Aqua Jet. Nine damage. I got Thunder Punch. Please kill. Okay, good. For a second, I thought you were going to face tank that, and that would have been bad. Whew. See, Zayden is a great mon. <laughs> Like, I'm not gonna lie. I, I think Zayden's the best mod on the team that I don't want to lose. Um, I did, they gave me an opportunity to heal, I believe. Yeah, they do. Okay. I don't even. I think he goes away, actually. And then Lima heals me. Oh, shoot. Lima 6v6 is right here. 
because you don't have to go around the corner anymore. He actually walks, Lima walks to you, I believe. Yeah. Oh, shoot. If a Fio did that much damage to me, what would a six, what will a 6v6 do? Oh, uh, my heart is literally like, I'm stammering. This is a, this is our first 6v6. Lima, I ask of you, do not have powerful mons. That's, that's what I ask of you. You're our first 6v6, just make it so it's something I can get through. Spoink. There we go. I'll take that. Um, unfortunately, I do have to swap, though, because our Slazzle does not necessarily like that. Mon. Oh, wait. No, no, no. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. We got, we got Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse should be able to kill. I mean, you're a Slazzle. You're kidding. Well, I'm glad I didn't switch out. Okay. Just pursue me all you like, Batman. Um, I... I was not expecting to be pursued. I was expecting a psychic move. Oh my god, you lived on one. <laughs> um, but again, I'm faster. Yeah. Okay. Spoink's dead. Although, although it did take an unreasonable amount of... Um, no! I said no bulky water types. Not the bulkiest water type. Really? You have the bulkiest water type on your team right now. Like, yeah. if you have Pedal Dance or any grass type move, my, my Zayden is in trouble. Because this is not killing a Milotic. No way. Razor Shell. That can do like eight damage. Seven. We'll take that. Um, luckily, that was a physical move. If it was not a physical move, we would have been a uh, Recaroni Batman. Um, but there goes my Lotic. Like I said, the, literally like the bulkiest water type in the game. Um, it's naturally what we're going to go against. Uh, Snazzy is level 14. Greenbird is level 14. Laron. We don't have a. We really don't have an answer for that either. Um, it's Steel Rock. So I'm going to stay in. Because it shouldn't have something. It shouldn't be that bad. And I can Liquidation it. And Liquidation is 85 Stab. From a Mega Swamper. Like, this should hurt. Yeah. No! Papa? Agron, you do not kill me like that. Preferably. Oh my god, you li li leave it. If that was any stronger grass type move, boom, dead. Oh, that because lo we are lucky that was a the forty base power move. Like, but that tells you how scary grass types are. Uh, Boldor. Oh, shoot, I'm gonna stay in, and I'm gonna heal. Because, again, we still haven't had access to Super Potions. And we'll find out what kind of grass move this thing has. Because it's almost natural that this is going to have a grass move. Stealth Rocks. Great. Um, actually, what does that do? I'm just trying to think about it. Because, like... That's dead. Um... It doesn't do anything to my Magic Bounce, Mon. Or, uh, not Magic Bounce. Magic Guard. Zalazzle. So it only hits Greenbird. Which, Greenbird it has Steel Stab. So it actually doesn't do that much. And, yeah, it has Steel Worker. That's why. Oh, it's Orion! Of course we're fighting Ryan. The person who literally pissed in a cup in an episode. I'm like... I did... I was... The last thing I expected was... Me to audibly hear Ryan pissing in a cup on camera. Like, huh? Um, if you guys, if you guys didn't watch Two B Two, that's what happened in the Quiet episode. 
spoiler alert, um, like literally seeing that happen. What mod was coming out again? Isn't it Ryan? What am I doing? It's literally, oh no, it's a Gengar. We already killed the Ryan. Uh, oh, thank God you have terrible. That actually is that's actually beneficial for me. Um, does that actually make Thunder Punch better? I think it does, because it doubles instead of 1.5, right? I'm just going to go with the donation, because I don't know. Um, and this joke sh should still kill. Um, but yeah, I was pleasantly surprised that that actually happened. Um, Ryan blew me away in that episode. In a good and bad way. <laughs> I don't think... I don't think... That there was, I was ever going to have somebody blow me away in both aspects of the word. Like, it happened though. Ryan found a way to do the thing that I didn't think was possible. So props to him, I guess. Um, we gotta go handle the Tauros. Um, but speaking of handling a Tauros, um, okay. So I keep making this joke. And this joke literally doesn't... There is literally no point to the joke unless you have watched Patters' series um, from 2017. Yes, I have been a Patters stan from 2017. I have been a shady person since 2015 because I was a sophomore in high school. I have been in the Pokemon community for a long time. My first Pokemon episode was 2017. So, and it was Pokemon Leaf Green, and it was the trashiest episode I've ever made on YouTube. I think I was wearing this exact shirt, which is kind of funny. Um, but, um, yeah, I've been alive for a long time, and trust me, I've learned a lot in the given time. But anyway, like I said, so, like, one of the options, so basically one of the options for the Tauros, the one you're supposed to click is tug on its uwu, which if you guys don't know or don't get the joke, then you just you're too young if you didn't get that joke. Um, Cause it was like a joke that just was like, are you kidding me? You actually put that in the game. Um, text edits, aren't they wonderful? Thank you for giving me useless item. Call back to the soul link. I'm joking. Not a call back to the soul link. Uh, we might have actually talked about how the revives, like, no, there's no way that we did because we not the older games don't give it to you that much. Oh, oops, I'm sorry. Ah, um, I always thought as a kid, uh, as a kid, this game literally came out when I was 17. Um. Anyway, I always thought that, oh my god, this game came out when I was 17. Hold up, we gotta circle back to this. Um, first off, let's get at my new encounter so that I'm not, like, freaking about, out about the fact that I'm so old. Um, Yes! A Gen 1 Pokemon. We'll take that. That is an addable Pokemon to the team. We like addability, and Machamp is that. Um, and it's level 8, too, so it's like not even that far off level-wise. And I can paralyze things, which is freaking amazing. Um, let's see. But anyway, this game came out, and I was... Okay. Dude, if this thing has simple, I'm literally going to freak out. Um, I'm going to Dark Pulse it, though. Snatch. Ooh! You be snatching my stat boosts? Actually, that's not a bad strat when I, if I know that they're going to do that. Um, hashtag Weedleton Twin Needle actually taught me that strategy with a Mighty Enna. Um, yeah. I, competitive Battling 101. Okay. So if this raises the stats, we know it doesn't have simple. Okay, so it does not have simple. Dang. Um, but we are still in prime position as we're gonna get 
our other oh wow we can actually do we're actually gonna get through a lot now that i think about it because we got this we're gonna get that them yeah wow okay So my champ is joining the squad. Um, I almost want to make that Dylan joke, um, but if it, it didn't have didn't have bite, so I can't or crunch, so I can't make the joke. Um, if you guys know the joke, thanks for being a channel member for so very long. I really appreciate it. Like, you know the joke. This was a while ago. I think this was July, not July. Um, Jonas and I did a 12-hour sleep lock, and I said some wild things. And something to do with the move Crunch was one of them. Um, so, actually, we are going to name it Daddy. Um, Daddy, the Machamp, is joining the squad. Oh, I'm going to have to say it in that voice every time, too. Sorry, you guys are going to have to deal with a lot of stuff in this episode. And you guys are all going to be like, what? Who are you? You guys aren't even going to know who I am by the end of the series. Um, ooh, you have a fastball. Ooh, yeah, you do. You have some fastballs down. No, I'm no, no, I'm done. I'm done. Uh uh. Uh uh. uh, 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 uh. No. no, 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 no. At least I have, I at least I have boundaries. Okay, let's check the summary. Um, we got. Why well, can't freaking the Mega Swampert have that ability? That would have been amazing. Anyway, we, this is the ability I wanted on Mega Swampert. It's kind of funny that Dr. Daddy has it. Um, but we got Cotton Guard, Snatch, Low Kick, and Rolling Kick. Not bad, except for the fact that it's a brave nature. Of all of all natures, it's brave. Plus speed, minus um, defenses. So, woo, I guess? Or a minus attack. Literally, Jolly would have been fantastic. Like, plus speed, minus special attack. Go for it. Um, but yeah, unfortunately it's a brave nature. Um, it's, is it kind of sad that I know from the, like, that's how deep into competitive I've gotten. It's like, I know exactly what nature it is just off the screen. It doesn't even have to tell me. I feel like it, you guys are probably gonna be like, it literally tells you on the screen, which you're probably right. But we'll find out. It does not. It's on this screen. Is it actually? Oh no, it's timid. I was wrong. Uh -huh. Then what is brave? Is brave plus attack minus speed? I may have flipped it. That actually, that sounds right. Anyway, timid is a not a great nature for this thing. Long story short. Uh, so. We'll kind of see kind of where this goes, but. We've got another challenger, Youngster Crystal, who's going to have a Komala. I kind of, I now kind of wish I had my dynamic punching duo. Um, level 10. Okay. So good to know that they're actually relatively around my champ's level. So that if I chose to want to do that, I can actually do it. Attract. Great. I love that move. It makes me so happy all the time. Okay. I should be able to break through immobilization, right? No. There's no way. Yeah. Immobilize. Okay. I don't know. Oh, did you just pain split like a butt? You did. Uh, you're a butt. You know that? You pain split. Well, that's going to be enough to kill, though, so... Bye, Komala. I actually had um, somebody who uh, was in a draft league with me whose mascot was a Komala, and oh my god, he was the, like, the source loser ever. It was kind of hilarious. Um, okay, Storm Throw. 60, that's damage determinant, that's 60, 85. Bye! 60, 85, no good! I would rather 60 and 100. Plus, Storm Throw is guaranteed to crit. So it's actually 90. Um, it might not be like... What's it called? It might be like negative priority, but still. I don't think it is, but... 
Petalil, that's not it. That's not a mod I'm really that worried about, to be honest. Bah, Petalil. Okay, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and get that encounter, and that... I don't want it to be the end of the episode, but it almost kind of feels like a almost a great spot to end it. I don't know. We'll find out. We might clear the cemetery. That that might be what we do. We might clear the cemetery and the episode after we clear the cemetery and get our encounter here. That actually sounds more That sounds more like it. Um all right, unless our encounter takes forever as it is a That's Generation 3 as well. Yes, it is. Because you get it the same generation as uh, everything else. So, with it being another Gen 3 Mon, we cannot add this to the team. As I think Mega Swapper is way better. Um, it is a fossil, though. I... I don't necessarily know how to handle this. I'm going to go into Zayden. And it should live as Steamroller. Sticky Web. Okay. Well, you're definitely not good enough to replace... Um... Yeah, no. I don't know. I don't think it'll live. It's 11 levels above. 65 non-stab. Oh, no. It lived. Okay. So, if it lived, it's definitely... It wants to be on the team. So, we'll throw a great ball at it. Just because it is a fossil. So, it's not like it's very good. It's going to be very easy to catch. So, unfortunately... Okay. You got... That's a second bug move. Like, it almost makes you want to go back into Salazzle. Like, I feel safe going into Slazzle when it has two bug moves in its arsenal. If I see a third one, I'll swap. Because Foulstinger does nothing. But, like, I just need to see a third move before I'm like, okay, I'm making a decision. To, like, paralyze this thing. You know, I literally just said I need to see a third bug move. And I don't know if I'm about to get bit in the butt by doing this. Because I totally could. I'm hoping I don't, though. Oh, flame charge. Yeah, this, like, has nothing to combat. Like, oof. This is... This is an oofy mon. Um, it's got no moves for Zayden. Flame Charge even resists, so I literally can just sit here and not worry. Um, which, not gonna lie, kind of feels good. Um... Like, when two damage is the highest amount that it's shown to be able to do, it's just like, okay, cool. We're good. Um, actually, you know what I'm thinking of now? I don't necessarily need to clear... Oh, I thought I caught it. I don't actually need to clear out the cemetery. Because all I really need is the TM up top. If that's your last move, you've got to be joking. That sucks. Because now it's definitely not going to catch. Are you kidding? What is this game? Like, it's on red, paralyzed. Ah, uh, it doesn't catch. It milk drinks. And it soothes itself to the point where it's okay. Um. What the? What the actual heck? Um. Well, we registered our Relicanth into the Pokedex. What a rock type. We're going to name it 
Rocky. So, Rocky the fish added to the party. We will take that. And we'll get this TM, which is spikes. I'm not against it. And then we're going to fight this girl. Okay, that's fine, though. Like, I'm okay with fighting these, like, traders. And then we fight the guy up top, and then we end the episode for the next episode to be that dude, that dude, and that dude. So, like... But we gotta go to the back to the PC before I end my recording session for tonight. Um, jeez, our next ep is our next episode really gonna be a totem battle? Because that's a potential at this point for the next episode to be the totem. Wow, we are progressing at a very fast rate, which I don't mind. Not gonna lie, um, I feel like it's definitely a lot faster than my first playthrough because this is episode. Four? Because this is the second episode I recorded today. I recorded episode two yesterday. Yeah, so this is four. Um, I'm sorry, you snazzy. That's a bad move for you. Rocky, you're not on the team, buddy. I don't want you to gain experience. Um, I can't control it, though. I'm not next to a Pokemon Center. But I just can't put you, uh, Ro Rocky in battle, which... I'm not sad about that in any means like that would have been another another mon that i'm quad weak to or that has a quad weakness to grass not that i'm quad weak to Bra, that's a landreth dude that would have been an amazing gen 5 mon but again we got dr daddy from in here so like i am not like i said not mad at all like it's just I want that as an encounter later. And we'll try and use the heal ball on something that we know we can get. So this trainer, actually, fun fact with this trainer. Um, this trainer actually was the one that had the first ever shiny Pokemon. Um, that we got to see on camera. I think it was this trainer. It might be the trainer ahead. No, it's definitely the trainer ahead. Um, had the very first shiny. It was a shiny Kiram Black. And I was like, why? It, it, it couldn't have been like a, e an easy Pokemon. No, it was a shiny Kiram Black. It's like, cool. Um, as that's a Muck. Ooh, that's a Alolan Muck. Which means it's a part dark. Part dark type. Which... Doesn't necessarily add any challenge. Um, no, that's a lie. It like actually makes this Pokemon a lot harder to deal with. Um, there's a reason why this one's an OU Mon or a UU Mon, and the other one's like NU or PU or wherever in Generation Seven. Like a Lowland Muck just has so much good things in its arsenal. It, I don't know. I feel like it because it's literally the same Mon, so I don't know how the Dark typing actually. Okay. I don't know how the dark typing helped it that much, but it did. I think it was its abilities. I want to say it got gluttony or whatever. So it was able to it was, it was able to work on a lot more stally teams, which I'm not going to say I don't run stall because I like stall, sadly. But I also like being stalled, and it creates a good challenge. So that's the back and forth. Like, I actually don't mind facing it. Like, people are like, are you really going to sit here and stall? I'm like, I don't care. People ask me on a showdown if I'm, like, drunk or something. I'm like, no. I just am running stall. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but, yeah. So, I think this is actually a fantastic place to end it off. Um, because we are exactly 30 minutes in here. Actually... Let's do the this this cutscene that's gonna take like 30 seconds first. On Big Wave Beach. Let's go. Um and yeah, so this is a good this is where I want to end the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will be right back here when you guys see me 
uh, next time I record. Um, but you guys will see me tomorrow, I believe. Um, I believe you will see me tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. As always, love you all and peace.